Okay, in this video we're going to go over uh, part two of the introduction to quadratic functions, and, and this time we're going to do some definitions, okay? And what I'm going to do specifically is to, to, to define the different parts of the standard quadratic function. Okay, so let's get started. The standard form for a quadratic function is f of x or y, remember that y and f of x are the same thing, is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. Now, the defining uh, characteristic of this quadratic function is this 2, is it square, okay? It's also called the degree, the degree of 2. The degree is defined as that variable whose exponent, uh, let me say it again, the exponent in the equation uh, that's the largest number defines what the degree of that function is. For, so for example, in this particular trinomial, if you look at this uh, exponent, it's 2, this exponent's 1, 1, 1. So the degree of this one would be the largest one, which is 2. All quadratics have a degree of 2, okay? So let me just say that here. All quadratics have a degree of 2. Quadratics have a degree of 2. And you might say, well, so what? Now it has a degree of 2. What does that mean? Well, a degree of 2 means that you have a parabola. Okay, and we talked a little bit about that before. What is a parabola? <clears throat> a parabola basically is something that follows that shape, right? Or it can also be upside down. It can actually also be sideways, but we're not going to talk about those in this particular course, all right? So this is what a parabola is. This is what a quadratic is, and this is how you define it is by the degree of 2. Now, let's go back to the actual function itself. You'll notice that if I were to get rid of just the bx plus the c and just had f of x is equal to ax squared, this is really all you need in order to be able to draw or graph a parabola or a quadratic. This term, remember terms are a collection of numbers and variables separated by additions and subtractions. So this particular equation has one, two, three terms. This term actually has a name, and this term is called, strangely enough, the quadratic term. And again, that makes sense, doesn't it? Because the quadratic term has the, deg the degree of two. You really don't need the rest of this. This particular term where the degree is 1, is called the linear term. Now let me show you something. If I were to get rid of the quadratic term, and I just said f of x or y is equal to bx plus c, what does that sound like to you? y is equal to mx plus b with just slightly different naming variables, right? Linear term, linear equation. And remember that a degree of 1 or a linear equation, which we never really talked about, has a degree of 1, but it has a straight line. Again, either up and down or sideways or flat or whatever it might be. But the degree is 1, and these were called, again, linear equations. And I'll just abbreviate there, okay? So this term is rightfully called the linear term. And finally, this last term that doesn't really have the x in there at all, it's really just some number. The a, the b, and the c, by the way, are called coefficients. I'll talk about that in a second. But this number is just called the constant. Okay? So, definition of terms again for a quadratic function. ax squared plus bx plus c. That term's called the quadratic term. That term's called the linear term. That term's called the constant term. You really only need 
just the quadratic term in order to be able to draw the parabola. Okay, and remember that the defining characteristic is that it has a degree of 2. All right, I hope that was helpful.